Hi, I'm Jason Lai. <laughs> One of my hobbies is water gardening. My backyard looks a little bit like a construction zone right now, because quite frankly it is a construction zone. I'm uh, building a couple of new ponds. And I wanted to show you, uh, via this video, basically how I'm making a low-cost filtration system for, uh, for this new pond over here. So we have here a 300 gallon stock tank, but I wanted to show you today uh, the filtration system, which you can see the other side of the stock tank. Let's take a closer look. The first part of the filtration system is a trickle filter. In a trickle filter, the water basically trickles over a, a media which is designed to allow bacteria to grow. And when we talk about filtration uh, for water gardening, what we're really talking about is the conversion of toxic ammonia waste into nitrates which plants can use. So the idea is is that we give the bacteria plenty of surface area to, to do their work on. And this is the filter media that I've chosen. I've used it in the past, uh, the Springflow Biomedia, and it's really fun to use. Uh, when, we, when we do un untie it, oh, it's already started. You can see that it comes off in this big stringy coil. So here's the inside of the biofilter. Um, as you can see, it's a trash can. Um, here is where the water is going to come in. There's going to be a plate here with holes in it, uh, which I'll put in um, so that it breaks up the stream and dribbles down. And right in the bottom, you can see rocks. These basically hold it still on a windy day. And also, ooh, if I can reach it, well, this uh, this plant plant pot um, source of thing. Basically I've drilled holes in it so that the water, the cleaned water can, can run through. Take the tape off. And basically just randomly let the media fall in and fill this up. So this media has um, lots of grooves on the surface. If you look very closely and um, those grooves give increase the surface area so that more bacteria um, bacteria have a you know more surface area to live on. The more surface area, the better. Oh yeah, that's great. Bacteria are going to love living on that. Here we have uh, another uh, plant um, tray, plant pot tray, and I've drilled holes in it, and that's going to go in there, and be, sit on top of the media, and basically help distribute the flow of the water. And then we just put the lid on, like this. warm this up into some hot water, make it more flexible. So I put that jug handle on, on the tubing there so that basically it doesn't pull lever down on the uh, on the bulkhead fitting there of the inlet. Uh, pump down here which I'm attaching to the other end of the inlet. The water's going to go in that top trash can, filter down through the media. This bottom trash can is a sedimentation tank, and I'll show you what's inside. You can see that simply the water comes in, actually not too far down on the inside. This is where it's going to come out with this whole trash can here, into the main pond. And then actually, I have a tap, I've made a, uh, another penetration onto the trash can right at the bottom. And when this fills up with sludge, over time, I'll be able to open that valve and drain off the uh, dirty water. So the pond is filled with rainwater. Let's take a look inside of the filter, on the top of the filter. And yeah, we can see the water going in. 
and the plant saucer is, seems to be effectively distributing it so that it can trickle through the media. And let's look in the settling tank now. Ah, and there's the water going in from the trickle tower and it's taking, carrying a little bit of air with it, swirling around. Any uh, debris is going to sink to the bottom or we can let it out right here after it's collected. And there's the outlet for the clean water. Very simple and very cost effective.